but you know what? This is the main ideological issue I have with PSL right now and with all, so much of the left. They all have this exact same attitude, which is what exactly? Well, for the for the Marxists or socialists, they say, well, Russia ain't socialist. So why do we care about them, right? It's this this mechanistic sort of syllogism, right? You have uh, when a capitalist country wages war, this is imperialism. Russia is capitalist, therefore Russia's actions are imperialist. It's this super mechanistic understanding. It's not seeing the emergence of American unipolarity as the primary force holding back the world, as the main reactionary force on this earth which is preventing the emergence of people's governments right now you turn on the tv and what's it what's it saying about this conflict they're saying send more weapons to ukraine they're saying no fly zone they're saying nato needs to intervene and it's in, it's complete insanity being pushed on the everyday person and when i see organizations like psl pushing this whole narrative of well we're critical of russia and we're very critical of their actions right but the u.s is bad too it's like that's the strongest you've got that's the strongest you've got russia's bad nato's also bad you think that's going to convince people of anything and and when you're talking about okay well if nato shouldn't be doing what they're doing then you have to say at some point, well, Russia is justified in what they're doing. You can at the very least mention Russia's security concerns in the region and say if Ukraine simply were to meet these concerns, then the conflict would end. You could at least talk about Donbass. I was waiting for the PSL and waiting for these leftists to start talking about Donbass. They never talked about it. It was as if it never existed. I was waiting for them to talk about Maidan and it's as if it never existed and now of course a lot of them are talking about okay we are concerned about nazis in ukraine okay we are concerned about azov battalion but they still won't praise russia for liberating mariupol they still won't praise russia for denazifying ukraine they simply won't do it and you have to wonder you know, what are they afraid of? Because we've got a whole world to lose. We need to fight for, you know, in support of the people who are fighting for justice on this earth. You know, we can't be leaning back and leaning away, you know, out of fear just because we're afraid of saying, okay, I think that Russia may be justified in what they're doing. And when you look, you know, critically at what's going on, you can see that it's not so simple as just this imperialist invasion this expansionist invasion this greed and uh, megalomania on the part of putin himself you can see that putin represents the russian people to a great extent you can only make sense of this conflict in one way which is that russia is defending their national security interests and if you don't have all the information it's easy to just see people are dying and yes it's terrible that all these Ukrainians are uh, being displaced. It's terrible what a lot of the Ukrainian security forces and paramilitary groups are doing to the everyday people of Ukraine. Terrible, terrible, terrible stuff. I would not wish it on anybody. But at the same time, um, if you're exposed to that and you don't know the whole story, it's really easy to get you manipulated in a pro-war fervor. And it's really easy for you to say that it would be justice for NATO to start World War III. And that's completely wrong. I was so disappointed when I saw PSL's line on Ukraine. I was so glad that I left that party when I saw them start talking about it and start being all trying to be above everything like an academic, intellectual. I'm above everything. I'm better than Russia. I know better than Russia what they should have done as if they should have laid down and taken it while Ukraine threatened to adopt nuclear weapons, threatened to join NATO, threatened to join the EU, and massacred the people of Donbass. I was amazed that they, that they had that line. So disappointed.